everyone, welcome to Mather PE. Thanks for joining us today. We've got some bare hand fielding drills for you. We don't even need a glove for this today. Uh, we've got a variety of balls that we're going to use. All you need is a flat wall. We're gonna use tennis balls, lacrosse balls, soccer balls. Uh, any kind of ball will probably do all right. Let's get to it and see what we can do. So we've got Mr. Sanderson here giving us a hand to demonstrate a few things. We're going to start with an underhand toss with our right hand and alligator arm catch. One bounce in between. Notice how his hands are out in front of his body. And as he catches it, he's making sure that he's watching the ball the whole way into his hands. And then we'll switch to a left hand. Same thing, alligator catch. And you can speed it up off the wall if you want a little bit more difficulty. You can throw it a little higher for a higher bounce. You can throw it lower for a lower bounce. Now we're going to switch to right hand overhand toss, same alligator catch. Hands out in front, eyes watching the ball, alligator catch. Notice how when he follows through, he looks down at the ball to make sure it's solid in his hands. And now we'll flip to the left hand throw. Again, nice and solid every time. Great job. All right, for this one, I'm gonna stand behind Mr. Sanderson and I'm gonna to toss the ball off the wall, but he doesn't know which side it's going to, so he's going to have to react to try to catch this. Again, alligator arm style. We're gonna start off just straight ahead. Here we go. And now I'm gonna start varying it, and I might end up going to the right side or to the left side, so he's going to have to watch it come off the wall. Still, he's getting his hands out in front and catching that ball nice and smooth and confident. Good. Mr. Sanderson has a lacrosse ball now. It's a little heavier rubber ball. It comes off the wall a little bit faster, a little higher bounce. So depending on the type of ball that you have, you might have to adjust how you throw and how you react to that ball. Now we're just using a bigger ball. You could use a soccer ball. We're just using an indoor playground ball. Same thing. Hands are out in front, watching the ball come in, catching it, alligator arm style. So the next step is to step back from the wall. You're still throwing it off the wall, letting it bounce once as it comes in. And you can vary throwing with your right hand or throwing with your left hand. Sometimes we've got to work on our non-dominant hand to work on that physical literacy. He's also changing whether he's catching it with the front of his hand, on the forehand side, or if he's catching backhand style. But a couple of things always stay the same. His hands are in front of his body, his chin goes down, and he watches the ball all the way into his hand. Notice when he catches backhand, he shuffles his body so he's almost side stance. Great for baseball or softball to be able to get that ball out of your glove quickly and make your throw. We're gonna do the same thing now. I'm standing behind Mr. Sanderson and I'm gonna throw it against the wall and he's just going to have to react. So in this one, we've just used a bigger soccer ball and it's a little bit big to catch with one hand. So he's using two hands, but the same process. Hands in front, eyes to the ball, and make sure it's secure. Not bad there, number four. 
All right, so we're turning it up a notch here. We're facing away from the wall and throwing it backwards off the wall, spinning, and then trying to find the ball and then repeat those techniques. Hands in front, alligator hands, watch the ball all the way in and secure it. And he can throw it underhand or over his shoulder, whatever he wants, and then spin and find the ball. This is the same drill, we're just using a lacrosse ball which is a little bit bouncier so it's a little bit heavier as well coming back off the wall. Same technique, so you can vary the different ball that you want to use and it just changes your technique a little bit. And the last one we're using is an agility ball. It looks almost like a dog toy. Mr. Sanderson, come on over and show us that ball. So it looks like a dog toy. When we use this agility ball, it bounces a little bit funny, and we all know that a baseball field's not perfectly even, and sometimes you have to adjust to a ball as it's coming to you. So this forces you to react a little bit later and a little bit quicker to make sure you still catch that ball. Great field. So those drills are really great for helping you work on your catching skills. Great for games like wall ball or for playing baseball or any skill that you can need to catch a ball in. Ideally, if you can catch with two, it's typically safer. So that alligator arms works. But when you got to use one, same things apply. Get that arm out in front, watch the ball all the way in, and make sure it's secure before you do something with it. If you like this video, subscribe, give it a like, share away, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.